I used to be an unlicensed surgeon, and one day they brought in a patient who was complaining of stomach pain. Uh, we did an MRI and all the other cool stuff, and we saw this weird growth right in their stomach. It was a, I've never seen it before. It was a box shape. And I told the man, well, I, I think we're going to have to do surgery. I've never seen something like this before. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to see what's going on in there. Um, we're going to try exploratory surgery first, and then depending on what it looks like and what it is, I might have to take it out. And the guy said, well, all right, because uh, whatever, whatever is going to get rid of this pain in my stomach. It's just been... It's just been hurting me and hurting me all this time, and it's been happening for weeks now, and, and I don't know what's going on. Just to stop the pain, doctor. And I said, that, I said, yeah, we'll, we'll get right on that, and that's exactly what we did. Because as an unlicensed doctor, I don't have a lot of patients, so I was able to get them into the OR right that second. So we wheeled them in, and we, well, I'm unlicensed, so I can't get any normal anesthetics. So I made him drink lots of whiskey until he passed out. And I got my scalpel out. And let me tell you about the scalpel. It is one very cool scalpel. It's very sharp. <coughs> it, it cuts when I need it to be cut. And, and it's the best scalpel I've ever had. Anyway, I take the soap and rub it on him. What kind of soap was it? It was that uh, volcanic kind. You know, it has little rocks in it because I'm unlicensed, so I don't get the good soap. And so I say to my nurse, who is also unlicensed, scalpel, and she hands me the scalpel. And I do have male nurses, it's not just female nurses. So don't come crying to me about uh, gender, what whatchamacallits, because I have both. And they're all equally terrible because they're all unlicensed. And I say, scalpel. She gives me the scalpel. I start the cut, and the man goes, oh, and I say, more whiskey. And my male nurse, see, I told you I had a male nurse, he starts pouring whiskey down that man's throat. And he's going, oh, 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 and I say, more whiskey. And the nurse says, I don't know, doctor. I don't know if he can take more whiskey. And I say, damn it. When I say more whiskey, I mean more whiskey. He can take it. And I whisper to myself, I hope he can take it. So I'm cutting into him, and I'm just going, rrr, rrr, rrr. Just slashing everywhere, blood's flying, muscle and fat. I finally get in. It took me an hour because I had no idea what I was doing. And I look in there, and, and I see the growth. And, and I touch it with my hand, which wasn't gloved because I'm a licensed, I have no idea what I'm doing. And, and it was hard. It was very hard. And I poke at it, and I prod it, and I grab it, and I pull on it. And I realize, oh, it's coming out. And I pull on it, and pull it, pull, 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 pull it all the way out. It's covered in blood. I have no idea what it is. I, I put it aside, and I say, nurse, stitch this man up. And I realize, wait, don't do that. You have no idea what you're doing. You, you know even less than me. So I stitch him up, put them all together. And we put him in recovery. And while he's in recovery, we look at this thing we, we've never seen before. It's entirely possible that it's because we have no idea what we're doing. And I realize there's something weird about this. There's, there's letters on it. So we wash it off. On the front it says, Fallout 76. Somehow this man had a copy of Fallout 76 in his stomach, which was really weird because it isn't released yet, so how did they get it in there? And after the whiskey wore off, we go into the recovery room, and we ask him, Sir, how did you get a copy of Fallout 76 in your stomach? And he said, That's what was in there? I said, Yeah. Oh, wow. That, that's, that's fantastic. He said, are you sure? You know, no, it's not fantastic. You could have died. In fact, you, 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 I'm surprised you're not sick as hell right now. And he says, well, it's fantastic that you even know what Fallout 76 is. Because I didn't think anybody did. And I said, yeah, everybody knows what Fallout 76 is. And he says, wow, 
and you know how much it costs, right? And I said, yeah, it's going to cost $60. He says, yeah, it is. You know what? I want to do a deal with you. You can keep that Fallout 76 box with the Bethesda code in it for only $60. And I sit there and I think for a second. I said, yeah, that is a great deal. Because I can get it now instead of later. And I say, well, maybe, maybe I'll get it. And then I notice something very odd. I look really close. This man's mustache, it's fake. So I ripped the mustache off. And wouldn't you know it, it's Todd Howard. And he starts giggling up a storm. And my nurses start giggling. Realize the nurses, they aren't my normal nurses. It's Todd Howard's kids, Todd Howard Jr. and Toddler Howard. They're giggling up a storm and I'm and I'm pissed off. And I said, Todd, did you did you surgically implant a box of Fallout 76 into your stomach? And then come here just so I could remove it? And he said, yeah. And I said, don't you think that's a huge waste of time? Like, wouldn't it be more effective to market to a large number of people all at once instead of one person at a time? And not just one person at a time. You had to take a box and you surgically implanted it into yourself. That must have hurt. And he said, yeah, it hurt. But now you know about Cell 76 and you're going to buy it, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I guess I am. And that was this, that was the craziest time. It was absolutely crazy. Then I find out it's online only. I can't even play the damn game until November 14th, I believe. <laughs>